come with me on a 2024 Lennox air conditioning maintenance. The first thing we're going to do is turn down the thermostat and confirm that it's working. Now we hear for the blower to kick in and for the outdoor unit to turn on. We'll check the age by looking at the third and fourth digit of the serial number. Here it's two and four, which means 2024. Let's go ahead and unplug the unit. Now we'll get the electrical compartment cover off by taking out these four screws on each side, as well as these four screws on the panels on all four panels. We can do this by using an impact drill and removing the compartment cover as well as the panels. We'll put them to the side. We'll check the electrical compartment to make sure nothing major is going on. And then remove the eight screws that hold the fan onto the post. We'll go down to each of the posts and remove the two screws that hold each one of them in. We'll remove them and put them to the side. Here, we'll look for the three fan wires. One goes to the control board, the other to the capacitor, and the last here at the contactor. Just remember to be careful when removing the wires and remember where they came from. Let's go ahead and remove the fan motor and put it to the side with all the panels. Now we're going to get ready to wash. The first thing we're going to do is put shoe covers on the electronic components to protect them from water. Let's bring our hose over now. Now we'll wash from the inside out and then from the top down. Look at how dirty it's gotten in just one year. Now it's time to put the fan posts back. We'll grab all three of them and bring them over, wash them down, and then put them into place. It's time to screw them into place with six of the screws, two on each post. Now we'll grab the fan and bring it back to the top over there. It's time to align the fan motor with the post, putting back the eight screws we removed in the beginning. Now I'm ready to get the four panels back on. Let's go ahead and get them washed. Lock in the panels by using the top left hand side of the panel and inserting it into the top left hand side of the fan post. Then slide it in We'll screw in starting at the top right hand side and then going down to the top left and back down. It's time to check the capacitor. This one is a 10 UF capacitor. We'll use a range of 10% from that and it should be no lower than 9 or no higher than 11. Here, it hits spot on at 10, testing from the fan to the common. Now, we'll go ahead and put the wires back in. The black one went on the control board, the purple one went on the capacitor, and finally, the orange one went all the way to the contactor. Clean up the electrical compartment and check the contactor. We're looking for signs like loud buzzing, burn marks, or pitting. Don't forget to put the cover back on to keep the bugs out. We'll wipe down the electrical cover and slide it back into place. Then screw all eight of the screws back into the cover. Finally, we'll clean up the disconnect and plug it back in.
But we're not done yet. We're going to go ahead, fill up a gallon of water, and take ourselves to the indoor unit. Let's look at the third and fourth digit of the serial number, which is two and four. That means that this is a 2024 Lennox air handler would chase the wire coming from the unit to find the shut off switch and shut it off. Then we'll replace the air filter. This one is dirty. We'll get a new one ready and check the coil before putting it back in. Then we'll go ahead and slide it into place. We're gonna do that by guiding it in using the top here and inserting them into the top pieces there. Then we'll get them right, make sure that it's in place and slide it in. The arrow must be facing towards the supply at all times. Let's close out the cover. It's time to go into the air handler by removing the four screws that hold the cover in place. Let's inspect the circuit board and make sure that there's no burn marks. We'll check the blower wheel for dirt and grime as well as the indoor coil. We'll look at the pan to make sure that it's clean and check the blower motor. Then we'll go ahead and flush the condensate pan. This allows us to watch the drain flow and put some condensate tablets to keep it clean. Let's get the easy trap cleared and then close the system back up. We'll turn it back on and test its operations. That's it. I want to make sure that I can continue to make informative videos. So please like, share, and subscribe 